Hello everyone, I hope you are doing fine. So in this series, we are going to see uh, 50 plus questions on cement. So this will mostly be theoretical questions. However, I'll be explaining the concepts with each solutions. So let's get started. And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. The first one is list one and list two are given. List one consists of uh, various types of tests and list two consists of uh, the apparatus used for them. So if we uh, start from workability, for workability I know we will use slump code. So D must be associated with four. So I can omit option B and D because it does not have four for option D. Next, if we come to uh, soundness test, we will use Lee Chatelier's apparatus. So for C, it should be one. So if we look now, Option A can be omitted. The answer is option C. So in case you don't know what is the apparatus used for fineness of cement, the answer is air permeability apparatus. Try to keep this in mind because it may be asked. For fineness of cement, we will use air permeability apparatus. Next is standard consistency is P. Then what is the amount of water used in conducting the initial setting time and final setting time of cement? So the first test that you have to uh, do for a cement is standard consistency test or normal consistency. We call it as standard or normal consistency. So once this test is done, we will get the answer in terms of percentage and it is denoted by P. I'm sure you guys know what is the procedure behind it. We will mix the cement paste and then using the Vicat apparatus, we will insert the needle inside and once the reading shows uh, 33 to 35 from the top, we will stop and the amount of water added for that particular cement paste uh, will be taken into account and that is only called as P. So from this, we will be obtaining P and for uh, initial setting time, and final setting time, we will use uh, a factor for P. That is, we will take 0.85 times the normal consistency of the uh, cement and add that much amount of water to it. Whereas, if we come to uh, Lee Chatelier's apparatus, which is used for soundness test, we will go for 0.78 times P. Whereas, for strength test, we will go for uh, P by 4 plus 3 percentage. So this is the uh, formula that we have to use for calculating the amount of water needed for the given test. So here for initial setting time, we will go for 0.85 P. Next, uh, there is an assertion Porcelana is added to cement to increase the early strength. The reason is it offers greater resistance to the attack of aggressive waters. So first assertion it itself is wrong because Porcelana it is an additive uh, which is added to cement. Uh, it increases the later stages of strength whereas early strength gain is very less. Uh, adding Porcelana will reduce the rate of uh, gaining strength for the cement. Therefore this assertion is wrong whereas the reason they give us it offers greater resistance to the attack of aggressive water this is true because porcelana it is very fine and due to this very uh, fine property the porosity will be very less so due to less permeability there will be less vulnerability to the attack of aggressive waters so the answer is a is false but R is true. Next is for complete hydration of water. The water cement ratio needed is what? The answer is more than 0.35 but less than 0.45. Next again we have two lists. The first one is the type of cement that we are using and second one is the application. So first is air entraining Portland cement. We all know why we use air entraining Portland cement. Uh, let us take a freeze and thaw condition. First we have water and due to low condition, uh, low temperature, this water will turn into ice. So due to this uh, increase in uh, volume, there will be pressure acting on it. So due to pressure, crack will be occurring. Whereas if we provide air entraining agents, then this ice, it can take the space inside these air bubbles. So this will reduce the pressure acting on it and therefore failure can be avoided. So this is the use of air entraining Portland cement. So if we look at the applications, we can see that great resistance to frost attack is present. Frost attack is what we saw now. This phenomenon is called as frost attack. Therefore, air entraining Portland cement, it can be associated with greater resistance to frost attack. So, A
So for the next one, let us look at the application and then come to uh, the type of cement used. So let me come to this application. Safe storage under unfavorable conditions of humidity. So what is what does this mean? I have my cement bags and these cement bags are uh, placed or stored in a place where there is high amount of humidity. Humidity means uh, high uh, moisture content present in the atmosphere. So, uh, safe storage under unfavorable conditions means uh, this uh, cement that we have uh, present here, it should not react with this uh, water content that is present in the atmosphere. So, for that we have to uh, get a cement like hydrophobic Portland cement. So, hydrophobic from the name itself we can say it will not react with water, it is allergic to water. Therefore, hydrophobic cement is associated with uh, option 4 answer this option C. Next, while concreting in cold weather where frosting is also likely, one uses what? So, in cold weather, we will go for accelerators. Water accelerators, they will increase the setting action. So, one such example for accelerator is calcium chloride. Whereas, we also have something opposite to it which is called as retarders and an example for that is also a calcium co um, component which is called as calcium sulfate commonly called as gypsum. So, gypsum it, is, uh, it will reduce the setting action whereas accelerator it will uh, quicken the setting action. So, therefore, we will use uh, calcium chloride when we are going for cold weather concreting and uh, the, in the options I can see that two options that is option B and C they have an option called calcium chloride therefore in these two things I have Portland cement with calcium chloride and high alumina cement with calcium chloride so we know that high alumina cement will perform better in cold weather conditions therefore we are going for high alumina cement with calcium chloride additives this is my answer next is gypsum is used as an admixture in cement grouts for so just now we saw what is gypsum it is nothing but calcium sulfate and it is a retarder therefore it will retard the setting time answer is option b next is which of the following pairs uh, in the is in respect of ordinary portland cement are correctly matched initial setting time 30 minutes it is correct final setting time it is 10 hours normal consistency 10 percentage which is wrong normal consistency for um, ordinary portland cement is 30 percentage therefore this one is wrong whereas option uh, 1 and 2 are correct therefore my answer is option c next high alumina cement is produced by fusing together what so high alumina cement we just now saw in this uh, problem that high alumina cement will be uh, used with calcium chloride and what is calcium chloride calcium chloride is an accelerator and uh, we don't need any retarders to be present what is a retarder gypsum is a retarder so we don't need any gypsum or retarders to be present in a uh, high alumina cement therefore if you come to this question again High alumina cement is produced by fusing what? So, we don't need any gypsum here. So, I'm going to omit anything that has gypsum. Therefore, I'm getting my answer as limestone and bauxite, which is the correct answer. Next is, consider the following statements. High early strength of cement is obtained as a result of what? Uh, fine grinding, which is also correct because uh, finer the cement, uh, greater will be the uh, surface area. Therefore, uh, the strength will also be high. Next, decreasing the lime content, whereas this is wrong because decreasing the lime content will only decrease the strength of the cement. Next, burning at high temperatures, this is also associated with high early strength and increasing the quantity of gypsum. We know that gypsum, it has no properties on uh, gaining strength. It will only uh, reduce the setting action only. Therefore, it will increase the setting time only. It is associated only with setting and not with strength not with strength therefore gypsum it is also not correct my answer is uh, 1 and 3 which is option b with this the first part of cement uh, questions is over in the next series let us look at uh, the other questions with solutions thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next video bye